All right, what is going on, Patriots fans? This is Jace today with the Patriots Drive Podcast, and today I'm coming at you with my first film review. Review today, uh, something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. I've been, you know, been planning on it, getting the stuff ready, and today is my first film review on, you know, a player we drafted. And that's going to be Pierre Strong Jr. out of South Dakota State. I'm very intrigued by the pick for New England in the fourth round. Thought it was great value. Love this dude's college stats, over 1,600 rushing yards last year, and over 811 of those were after contact at South Dakota State. Just a good all-round runner, ran a 4.38, um, 40 at the combine, the fastest um, at the combine for running backs, and I think that he adds explosion, and as much as I love Damian Harris, I think that this is the eventual replacement, and it will be interesting to see how they use him this year, if they use him like they have with other traditional rookie running backs where they more redshirt him let him sit behind him or if they try to get him integrated. So I have a couple clips here, about nine of them to show you some of the things that I liked about Pierre Strong. And then a couple of little tidbits that I think is going to be interesting to see if New England switches up a little bit game plan wise with the new offensive coordinator and some of the strength to these uh, players that they drafted in the offensive scheme. So let's get right into that. Without further ado, I'm going to pull up my screen and we'll get talking about this. All right, so starting off, I just want to talk about a couple things. I mentioned a little bit of a different scheme for New England. Now, I have some stats for you guys. Pierre Strong last year had 144 zone carries. So the difference between a zone and a gap scheme, a gap scheme, you're going to have a pulling offensive lineman. He ran 95 offensive or 95 gap schemes in 2021. Now, that's not too big of a difference. Um, I think that it's you know relatively normal to see it right around that number where one's a little bit more um common than the other but it's not significant now this is where it gets interesting cole strange at ut chattanooga had 305 zone blocking snaps he registered an 87.2 pff grade in those zone snaps he only had 71 gap scheme snaps and he registered a 66.3 pff grade so i don't think new england's going to go away from the gap scheme runs especially with the stat that they had 311 gap scheme runs last year to 79 zone runs i, I don't think that you're going to see them run more zone than gap. They could, but I think that you're going to see the number become a little bit more close instead of the, what is that, about a 200 uh, run difference in scheme. So I think they're bringing in more guys for this zone scheme. And Pierre Strong ran 110 of those zone runs outside the tackle. So he's accustomed to running outside of the tackles. And we saw Josh McDaniels wanting to do that with his offense, but I don't know, you know, whether it was called in the wrong times or he didn't have the right personnel in there. It was always interesting to see uh, when he called that. So I'm going to bring in a couple clips here and show you why I like Pierre Strong and why I wouldn't mind seeing more zone snaps um, by the Patriots and why I think that, you know, they could look at this, especially with, you know, the stats of that I just read off of off of Cole Strange and Pierre Strong. So let's start with this first. Uh, play call right here this is what i call it split zone okay now it's referred to as a bunch of different things i call it split zone where i'm from the system that i'm in um, pretty much what it's going to be is you're going to see this tight end right here number 87 that i just circled he is going to come back and crush block all the way out on the defensive end now that's where you get the split part the zone part you're pretty much just going to see the whole offensive line zone blocking to their left okay so both the left tackle um, and left guard are going to most likely block the guys in front of them. They might double team to the linebacker on their side. And then you're going to see the right guard and right tackle double team to the Mac that is right over top of the ball right there that I just circled and the center's unblocked. So depending on their uh, zone scheme, how I see it, he's going to come up to this opposite backer. So they have a six man box, which is a pretty favorable box, especially box, especially when you have six in there, you pretty much have a hat for a hat. So, I'm expecting this to be blocked up pretty well. What I like about Pierre Strong right here as I run this clip is his ability to find the open hole. Okay, I think that his vision is above average for this draft class. I think that he comes in. He's great at not only seeing the front seven, but he's great at seeing what is going on with the back end of things and where the hole is going to be and kind of anticipating. So I'm going to roll this a little. I'm going to let you guys watch this as Pierre Strong is going to get the snap and boom right here. Okay, let me rewind it just a little bit. Okay, the guard and tackle do a great job getting up to the backside backer. Okay, play side backer, I should say. Pierre Strong, it, this is what I love. He sees this hole, and this is a good size hole, so it's not anything special. But Pierre Strong does what Pierre Strong does best, and he puts his foot in the ground, he finds the hole, and he gets vertical. And then this is what I talked about 811 yards after contact. 
let him do his thing and run and use that 438 track speed to get into the end zone and score a touchdown. That's the first clip that I love of Pierre Strong. I'll let you guys watch it from the start where he's going to get it. He's going to put his foot in the ground, get vertical, break three tackles, make a guy miss, and now use his track speed to get into the end zone. That's the first thing I like about Pierre Strong, especially in the zone gap scheme. Moving on to clip number two. Now you're going to see just a simple wide zone. I'm going to stop it right here. So wide zone, you got the tight end motioning. Pretty much the whole offensive line, just like they did last time, is going to zone block to their right. And you're going to get um, Pierre Strong running wide zone action. So he's not trying to hit it in between the guard or the tackles. This is designed to go outside. Now, most of the time, if you're playing good defenses, it gets cut off. They they try to race the five technique, which in this case is more of a four eye or uh, three or four eye right here. But they're trying to race that five technique. And if they can't beat him, he's going to cut back. So this is the second clip I like about Pierre Strong running the wide zone. He's going to get here. He's going to see that they have a favorable matchup right here where they are beating this three technique. OK, he sees that they have leverage on him. So instead of cutting it back, like some people would say to do, he's just going to beat him there. And now where's the hole? OK, he sees that he can't continue going outside. The uh, tackle did a great job sealing off his guy. So he's going to put his foot in the ground, get vertical and make more guys miss, make a dude uh, miss, break a tackle and get a couple extra yards. So if I go back to this, rewind it right to about here and pause, getting through the hole, getting skinny and running through arm tackles. A lot of guys go down easily and this is the NFL. You can't be going down on arm tackles. So this big defensive guy gets his hand on you, he runs right through it. Another linebacker gets his hands on him. He does not go down easily, and he puts up a fight at the end of the play where he's getting hit um, and lowering his shoulder and delivering the boom. Okay, next play right here. This is a great, re this is a, the same thing as last time. This is now wide zone to the left, okay? Now Pierre Strong is not going to be able to hit at front side, but he's going to see a huge cutback gap, and he's going to put his foot in the ground, like I said, great vision, and get vertical. So I'm going to play it. I'm going to stop it right here. You can see, on this whole left side right here, one, two, three defenders are here, and they're you know in prime position to make a play. So what does Pierre Strong do? He puts his foot in the ground, and he finds the running lane, and now he's pretty much one-on-one -on -one with this safety in the backfield or in the uh, back half of the defense, and he's, all he's got to do is beat him. So he puts his foot in the ground. He's going to burst. He's going to make another cut, make a guy miss, break a tackle, Lower his shoulder, finish the play. Now, there's a lot to like on that clip there. Like I mentioned, vision is the number one thing I see in Pierre Strong. I think that he has great vision. He sees it right here. He doesn't hesitate. He doesn't have any wasted motion. He puts that left foot in the ground and gets vertical. And then as much as he could have just run to his left and try to outrun this safety, he sees that he's got a hat on a hat. He makes a cut, makes a guy miss, gets an extra 25, 30 yards after contact and you know gets him into the red zone. Next clip right here. This is what Pierre Strong hasn't shown a lot of. He's going to be lined up right out here. Now he's on air. So this clip starts a little late. Sorry about that. But he's going to be on air. He is in just straight up man coverage against, I think this is a safety right here. He makes this guy look silly. Now you're going to see Pierre Strong come up and he has an option route. Okay. He's working a middle read. He has either an inner and outbreak. What I love is he gets up to him. He's going to stem him outside and in the blink of an eye, He's going to plant that left foot again and be right back into the inside. The quarterback throws a great ball, reads it perfectly, and Pierre Strong does what he does best, is off to the races using his speed and making guys miss. So I'm going to play it right here. Boom, steps on his toes. You see that little stem out. He gets the uh, safety to jump out to his right. Now Pierre Strong comes back to the left, catches it with his hands. Now he's off, jukes a guy, makes him miss, gets a couple extra yards after the catch. Now, I don't think Pierre Strong's the most primed pass catching back coming out of college and being drafted in the NFL, but seeing clips like this where they trusted him to be out in space and he makes good moves like that, he's a shifty running back. If he can make plays like this consistently on the outside, I think New England's going to find a lot of ways to use him in this offense, not only out of the backfield, but maybe in kind of the James White role once he leaves um, or retires. Moving on, this is going to be Clip number five right here. This is Pierre Strong's forte. I've mentioned it before. I sound like a broken record. 811 yards after contact. Get that guy. Get that in your mind, guys. This guy makes guys miss. That's over three yards after contact per carry. He makes guys miss. And that is what he does on this play. You're going to see they're going to run more. They're going to motion him in. 
They're going to run more split zone action. So you got the tight end crushing back. And what's he going to do? He's going to get outside. This safety right here coming off the edge. Let me rewind it just a little bit. This safety is in prime position to make a tackle. Okay. He's going to come in. He's going to make a tackle on this, on Pierre Strong. If he doesn't make him miss, what does Pierre Strong do? He's going to put his foot in the ground. He's going to cut upfield. Oh, well, what? There's one more guy right here to make a tackle. He beat the offensive lineman to the spot. Nope. What does Pierre Strong do? Makes him miss. Yards after contact. Makes another guy miss. Finishes with his shoulder down. Gets into the end zone for a touchdown. Everyone's celebrating. That is the most impressive run that I saw of Pierre Strong, and that was from last year in the FCS first round um, playoff game where he was just making guys miss, and it was impressive to watch him run. He had over 100 yards that game. So. Next clip right here. This is his vision, cut and burst, acceleration. I love this clip right here, too. You're going to get another wide zone action. So you see they're starting to move to the left. And I'm going to roll it just a little bit. Boom. You're going to get Pierre Strong right here. Now, there's clearly a hole right here. I'm going to draw it. Okay. And you got this tackle right here. I just barely circled his head where he is going up to the second level. Now, Pierre Strong is going to be told to read this guy, whatever he does. If he blocks out, you cut off his butt. If he blocks in, you cut off his butt. Watch Pierre Strong's burst out of this break. There's a hole there, not a big one, but he's going to put his foot in the ground, like I said, and he's going to get vertical, and he's going to be off to the races. This is an incredible burst. This is what we talked about with his 438 speed. Once he hits the hole, he's gone. Boom, bursts out of it, makes a guy miss. Makes another guy miss into the end zone for another touchdown. First touchdown of the game, four minutes into it. So that's another impressive clip of Pierre Strong cutting um, and getting off blocks. Right here, this is another impressive run. Not only his vision where he sees that front side, he it's not there, but he makes two great jump cuts. Now, I'll show you what a jump cut is and kind of explain it to you. But you're going to see, he's going to come here. He feels dead front side. Okay, He doesn't see anything. This defensive tackle is in decent position to make a play. So you're going to get Pierre Strong coming up here. He's going to bounce. Okay, well, what he wanted to hit was this hole right here. But this gets sealed up. He doesn't have much of a running lane. So what's he going to do? He's going to bounce it one more time with the jump cut, and then he's going to use his speed off to the races and get an extra 15 yards. This play, to me, is dead in the water. Okay, this is so, it, usually you see guys do one jump cut, but to see him do this jump cut, and then one more jump cut to find the open hole and get out. This is impressive stuff by Pierre Strong, and this is what he's going to bring to the table for New England. Moving on, second to last clip right here. This is just another example of his cut uh, and bursting ability, how quick and explosive he is once he hits that hole. Okay, so we're going to get them coming up. Let's get them lined up. Okay, Pierre Strong, they're going to motion him. The tight end, they get the split zone action again, okay? Pierre Strong's going to come right here. Now, this right here, this hole, not very big, okay? But what does he do? Makes guys miss, and he gets vertical very quickly. Boom, bursts out of it, runs away. Oh, you know, this is the one time you don't see him break a tackle at the end. It would have been the cherry on top if he breaks a tackle. But watch him come out of this burst, like I was saying. His vision and his ability to get his foot in the ground and get vertical right off the bat is so impressive. Gets out of it. Starts running away, tries to get the stiff arm. Good play by the safety. It's, it's bound to happen sometimes. Last clip right here. I've highlighted it. I've said it before. I want to mention it one more time. His vision. Okay. You're going to get split zone action again. He's going to get the handoff. He is going to now be reading off of this offensive tackle who's going to come up and he's going to block this linebacker. Okay. Now, like I mentioned, you don't know what the linebacker is going to do. The offensive lineman has to play reaction to the linebacker, and then in the split second, Pierre Strong has to make a cut off of what the lineman does. So he gets up here. He gets outside leverage. Look at Pierre Strong's position. Look at this left foot in the ground, getting ready to bounce. Puts it in, off to the races, 438 track speed. Sadly, runs out of room, can't get to the end zone, um, gets ran out. But this is one of his 30-plus carries that we uh, mentioned where he was tied for all of F or all of college football with the most 30 plus carries um, this year. So gets here, puts his foot in the ground, split second decision, reads that tackle and what the linebacker's doing, gets vertical, gets um, extra yardage. So I'm very excited for Pierre Strong. I think he's going to bring a lot to this team. 
um, see what he does offensively this year. Hopefully in the next couple of years, he's taking that Damian Harris role if Damian Harris is moving on. And I think that both him and Ramondre Stevenson can be a two-headed monster and we'll see what um, Kevin Harris brings. So this is, was one of my favorite picks of the NFL of the Patriots draft in the fourth round. A very underrated guy out of uh, South Dakota State in the FCS. If he was playing at a power five, he would probably have been taken a lot earlier than what he was here with his um, athleticism and his resume that he had at South Dakota State. He was putting up big time numbers every year, over a thousand yards um, most of the years that he was there um, on the ground. So that's what I liked about Pierre Strong. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you want to see more film reviews and cut ups. Let me know down below um, what you like about Pierre Strong and how you how excited you are about him um, to see him in this Patriots offense. And until next time, we'll talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.